Hello and welcome to our video series on how to use interactive tools. In this video, we'll be focusing on Kahoot and all its useful and interesting features. Kahoot is a game-based learning platform to discover, create, play and share learning games. You can use it for free or if you want, you can upgrade your account by paying for it. Kahoot can be used for any subject, any age and with any device. And players don't even need to register for an account. But you need to create a Kahoot account. To create an account, go to kahoot.com. Sign up as a teacher with your email address. You can continue for free here. How to play Kahoot. Codes are best played in a group setting, like a classroom or a conference room. Games are displayed on a shared screen, for example, a laptop or an interactive whiteboard. You can also use screen sharing tools like Skype, Appearing or Google Hangouts to include players from other locations. Players join in using their own device, whether that's a smartphone, tablet, laptop or desktop as long as they have a browser and internet connection. How to make your first Kahoot? After logging to your Kahoot account, click the Create button on the top right corner of the screen or click on any of the Kahoot activity types you begin creating. In Kahoot quiz settings, enter the quiz name, a description of what the quiz is about, language, preference and you can also set the privacy if you want the students to see an introductory video while they are waiting for the Kahoot to begin add a YouTube link in the lobby video box click done in Kahoot question setup input questions and answer choices where questions have a 120 character limit you can write down your question here. And your answers here. Indicate the correct answer choice. You can have from one to all correct answers. Add an image or YouTube video to the questions as a prompt. You can adjust time limits on the right side of the screen. Toggle points on or off. You can also upload questions from Question Bank. Questions can be ordered by dragging to the desired location. Once you are done adding all the questions, click Save on the top right of the screen. Click Done. You can edit, play, or share the Kahoot quiz. Let's look at how to play Kahoot. At navigation bar on the left side of the screen, click Library. In Kahoot Squeeze page, click Start on a Kahoot Squeeze you want to play. It will be opened in a new tab. Choose Classic or Team Mode. The screen will now display the game lobby with the game pin and QR code and also join in instructions in here. Students enter the PIN number in Kahoot mobile app or at kahoot.it on their devices and click play. Click start on your screen to begin the game. The questions and answer choices will be displayed on your screen, whereas students' screens will display it on the answer button. Students will select the answer choice corresponding to the button with the same color and shape as the answer choice. Once all the players have answered the question, the correct answer and the bar graph with the overall snapshot of the class responses will be displayed on the instructor screen. Click Next to move to the next question. At the end of each question, the leaderboard will display the top 5 scorers. 
Once the game is over, winner information will be displayed in the podium and the student screen will show their personal results and rank. You can click View Full Report. From Report Options, you can download or print the report. Instead of creating a Kahoot from scratch, you can also find a Kahoot in any subject by searching it on the Discover tab on the left side of the screen. Now you can choose any Kahoot you want to play with your students from here. In addition to playing live in a group setting, you can also assign Kahoots as homework. Open a Kahoot. Hit the Assign button. Select when you want to end the Kahoot and click Create. Copy the link or the game pin and share it with your students. After deadline, you can see the report on the Reports tab. Now you know how to use Kahoot. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more video education content.